Poor nation's debt soars. This is from the Financial Times. The global banking industry, the global banking industry, a bunch of banksters that steal our money. They put it in their bank and they give us nothing back for it. Yeah, them has warned that developing country debt piles have hit a fresh high, adding new fears of a wave of defaults this year. No, we've only been warning about this what now? Two years. Again, the dollar gets stronger. They got all this debt. It's dollar based. Their currencies are going down. Of course, the more dough they pay for their debt. Oh, and as the economy is going down to make a bad situation worse, you think the refugee problems are bad now? You ain't seen anything yet. More and more people are going to be taking to the streets in protest of lack of basic living standards, government corruption, crime, violence. Goes on. 85% of workers want remote work in tug of war with employee, employers. It's a study. This is from Canada. 85% of respondents said they're interested in hybrid or fully remote positions. The survey found. Again, go back to March or April of 2020, just about three years ago. We warned of an office building bust, and now. It's finally coming out there. They're only three years too late, but these are economic experts. So you swallow the shit that they shove down your throat when they're ready to shove it down your throat. You ready? U.S. office vacancies rise. Oh, one of our top trends this year: office building bust. A study that attempts to quantify damage to the property sector from hybrid working has forecast that vacancies will hit record 1.1 billion square feet. Oh, yeah! Don't worry about it. It's only a couple of years away. Yeah. A report by commercial real estate advisor Cushman and Wakefield found 330 million square feet of office space, probably roughly equivalent to all the office inventory in Washington metropolitan area. And I was just in the Washington metropolitan area, and we're going to talk about that again. And one of the things I saw on the roundabouts: people in homeless tents, and for lease, for rent, for rent, for lease, for lease, for lease, for rent. Yep, the worst is yet to come. There is going to be a commercial office bust, the likes of which we've never seen. Oh, I just mentioned about the uh, Fed rate going up to about 5.4 percent. Oh, they have a lot of variable rate mortgages on these things. Yeah, so the interest rates go up higher, and these big office building owners they got to pay more interest as they have less tenants. It's going to be wonderful. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Yep. Don't forget to vote. Retirees lost 23 percent. Of their 401k savings in 2022, Fidelity found across all ages and income levels, at least one third of all adults said they are likely to have less savings now compared to a year ago. And guess what? It's going to get worse. But the good news is, nearly half of retired Americans believe they'll outlive their savings. A separate report from Clever Real Estate found. Quote, everyone is feeling pressure financially, but don't worry about it. I am the federal government. I'm a scumbag mayor in a city near you. I'm a politician. I'm a congressman. I'm a senator. I want your money. I could give a if you go poor. We call it taxes, and get half of your dough around there to the federal government. So they could steal your money and wage war and kill people all over the world. So what the hell are these retirees complaining about? They're in America, the land of the thieves. You should see the little shithead that we got for a mayor in Kingston. An arrogant little boy of nothing. Everybody's going broke. They're stealing all our money. A bullshit school system that teaches you to really be a hard. But you'll get a job driving an Amazon truck. Oh, maybe I think I'll drive a uh, uh, what else? Where can I? Oh, UPS. Maybe I'll get a job at Walmart. I think I'll go to Target. Why I like Home Depot. Look what they've done to us. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. Bend over and take it up. The Be a good American. Hundreds of energy department officials hold stocks related to agencies' work, despite warning. The energy department officials, arrogant bureaucrats, scumbags that can't get a job in the real world. 
before they get into the political system, where it's filled with scumbags, full of scum. That's in the Wall Street Journal, and we've been covering this month after month, agency after agency. It's one big club, and you ain't in it. They know what's going on. They're making the deals and they're betting the bets and becoming rich doing it, while the rest of us plantation workers on slave land, they are go broke. And Wall Street auto executives wrestle with how fast to move to electric. Chinese lithium falls as demand for EVs weaken. Again, where EVs are going, where, when, and why. And by the way, battery was invented in 1800. If we didn't spend countless Probably hundreds of trillions of dollars in my lifetime for the defense budget, and put that money into research and development. What a life this would be, huh? Yeah, clean energy, clean food, clean lives, and peace on Earth. We're going to go now into the、uh, Ukraine war. Domestic political troubles return for Ukraine's Zelensky. Big, big article in the Wall Street Journal. This time last year, Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky dismissed the idea Russia would invade. You ready? His approval rating was falling. His government was pursuing a political rival of treason charges, to the dismay of Western allies. His ratings are in the toilet, and I think they were around like twenty. Eight percent, twenty-eight percent. When all else fails, they take you to war. He refused to talk about peace, and they go on to say here. Then on February twenty-fourth, Russia invaded, and Mr. Zelensky rallied the nation, remaining in Kiev as the enemy bore down on the capital. A former comic, he became a global face of Ukraine's sometimes improvised, but thus far successful resistance, securing weapons. Yep, a comic. And it talks about all the corruption in Ukraine that they never talk about, that we wrote about over the years. That goes back to 2014, when the United States launched a coup against Viktor Yanukovych, a democratically elected president of Ukraine. The European Union had called them Ukraine the most corrupt country in Europe, and Biden goes there to celebrate President's Day. And give them 500 million more dollars of our money, and as they even report, over a hundred billion dollars of our dough has gone to Ukraine, as those people in East Palestine could go to hell. Poison everywhere, and and destruction. Nobody gives a shit. Once upon a time, Biden, there was a thing called the Vietnam War, and in 1969, over a half a million young Americans that were drafted into service were sent over to Vietnam. Maybe you don't know that Vietnam was like、uh, after World War II that ended in 1945, 19. So you're full of shit. You're full of, <laughs> and they don't call them out for this. Oh, Joe Biden! What did he get? Like three, four, five draft deferments because the arrogant guy that loves war and that he's been sucking off the public tit for sixty years and he's been going for every war got draft deferments. Yeah, that's right. 